I guess I'm taking influences from a lot of different places. And I feel like the, yeah, the industrial sort of built environment is a big part of that. Like with my various projects sort of address that environment in different ways. I'm Julian Montague. I'm an artist and graphic designer from Buffalo, New York. The kind of illustration style or the kind of image making that I do is usually very, uh, I prefer sort of very simple things. Like I had a project previously where I like made these portraits of spider faces. In real life you look at a spider face and it's like covered in hairs and these things. So it's like, what can you do to make this thing that is complicated, like simple but still true to the, what it really looks like? I think that's kind of interesting. And so with cars, it's the same thing. It's like, what really matters when you're looking at this, at this thing? When Continental reached out to me uh, to use these, these pieces or this style in their campaign, um, it seemed like a really good fit to me. But what's also interesting about it too is they want them, you know, these cars without the tires, right? So the car is sort of floating there without tires. So I kind of like that part of it, you know, the, um, the tires implied by, by Continental, you know, using the image in a way that I think is kind of interesting. I don't want to show really anything from the body of the car if I can avoid it except for like the, you know, what I count as the bumper and like whatever's happening on the grill. I want it to still look like the car, but with as little as possible. Well, one of the interesting things about working on this is just the, seeing like the huge range of cars that like left the factory with Continental tires. And in the series, like it's a you know, range from the most incredibly like fast sporty cars to you know, really sort of everyday cars to these classics that you know, I think everybody recognizes. We have a very different history than New York does. We feel a little bit out of the way, you know, and we we were in ec economic decline for a long time. So this city, like many cities around the Great Lakes, people were leaving, the industry was leaving. And so um, we feel very much like underdogs here. And a lot of people don't know about what, they only know a few things about Buffalo. I mean, they know about our football team and our hockey team, and they know that it snows here, but uh, they don't know like, you know, how nice the city is or like what goes on here. It's a very healthy art scene for a city of its size and a lot of people that just put a lot of like time and passion into making things happen. And I really like being a part of that kind of things that are happening in a smaller place. It's important, you know, for all these like smaller cities to kind of to uh, make sure creative things are happening. In a general sense, some artists work where the material that they work with is the primary thing they're doing. And for me, I think of it more as like, I have kind of an idea or an image, and that image can take many forms. You know what I mean? Like there, there are things I've made where I've made them as paper cuts, then I've made them as paintings, you know what I mean? And then they're existing as a digital file that I'm like posting online. And for me, like I think each one of those mediums brings something interesting to it but there's some platonic idea above it that, you know what I mean, is the, is the main thing for me. I think it's interesting to kind of play around with these car images and using them in different mediums, like painting them. And it's, sometimes you see things in a different way or sometimes it like just that kind of texture brings something new to it. But at the end of the day, it's kind of that basic, the basic nuts and bolts of the image are the same to me, however they appear. Thank you.